Today we're making a delicious quinoa and kale salad with some beets, sweet potatoes, and garbanzo bean croutons. Yeah, I'll show you how to make those. We're gonna finish it off with a delicious tahini and olive oil dressing. You're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, so here's chef joke number one. So can vegetables be healthy and taste delicious? Kill yeah. So stay with me here today. I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious and healthy salad. You're gonna love it. So to start off our recipe, I have some uh, organic garbanzo beans in a can, already cooked, nice and soft. So you wanna drain these. And I like to give these a little rinse under the water. And then we want to pour these out onto a clean towel so that we can dry them. We want these to be as dry as possible because we're going to be roasting them in the oven. And if they're wet, they're going to just steam and they're not going to get nice and, you know, crunchy. I'm using a paper towel here to rub them dry. And in the process, I'm also going to be loosening up those skins that you see. So you don't really have to remove them, but I like to because there's, well, there's one on each bean and it kind of adds up. So I just gently pinch each bean, or most of them, and the skins come right off. So here are the skins that I peeled off, quite a few. All right, so we'll take, here's another skin. We'll take our garbanzo beans that have been dried and place them onto a parchment cover paper baking sheet. So we'll just toss those on there. We're gonna take some olive oil and I'm gonna drizzle some on. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And I'm gonna give this a little sprinkle of salt. And I'm gonna just work that in with my fingers. And just make sure I coat all the beans. Spread the beans out a bit, and they're gonna place those in the oven for about 35 minutes at, like I said, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So next we're gonna work on our sweet potatoes. Now typically they take a long time to cook in the oven, you know, 45 minutes or so to roast. Well, we're gonna speed things up by cooking them in a pan. So first up, you're gonna to wanna to peel your sweet potato. Make sure it's organic, by the way. Then cut it in half lengthwise, and then cut each half in half again. Then stand it up on the flat surface so you have a nice, you know, s solid surface to work with and just make slices, cutting down about a quarter of an inch thick. Then lay that pile down and make cuts lengthwise. Our goal here is to make each piece pretty small, that way it'll cook up nice and quick. Rotate the pile and then make one last cut. Now you see how small these are? That means they cook up quick. So we're going to place our sweet potatoes into a large frying pan over, we'll start out at medium heat. I'm going to add some olive oil to that to coat the bottom of the pan. And once that oil is hot, we're going to add our sweet potatoes to the pan. Spread them out. We're going to give them a little touch of salt, a little sprinkle on top, and some ground cumin. And then we're gonna place a lid on this. That's gonna help speed up the cooking time. It should only take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook this way. Now we need to get our quinoa going. I'm using organic here, and we're gonna cook this according to the package directions. So I'm gonna pour the desired amount of quinoa into a fine mesh strainer, and then we're gonna rinse it under some cold water till it runs clear. Pour the quinoa into a pot, add the appropriate amount of water, and then place this on the stove and bring it to a boil and cover it and simmer for 15 minutes. Here's what our quinoa looks like when it's finished. Nice and fluffy. Now here are our garbanzo bean croutons after about 35 minutes. They're just nice, a little bit of crunch on the outside and nice and tender on the inside. Once you take these out of the oven, you're gonna season them with a little more olive oil and a sprinkle of ground cumin. Give them another toss and let them cool off check on those sweet potatoes. They've been cooking for about 10, almost 15 minutes. They're nice and soft now and they get a little bit uh, charred and they just, they're perfect. They're done. Now while all of our hot ingredients are cooling off, we're going to set those aside and start preparing our cold ingredients. Here I'm chopping up some organic kale and I just rinsed it and now I'm just cutting it into bite-sized pieces. 
And now I'll place that into a large salad bowl. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. Are you ready for this? It's another kale joke. All right, why is kale never lonely? Because they come in bunches. Our last vegetable here is an organic beet. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it and then we're just gonna grate it right into the salad. And you can add as much as you like. Now be careful because beets stain. Their red color gets everywhere. Now for our delicious salad dressing, which is made with tahini, which is roasted sesame seeds. So in a bowl here, we're gonna add some olive oil. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Check it out. So we're gonna use the juice from one lemon. I like using a lemon press here because it just works well and it collects the seeds. Apple cider vinegar is next for a nice little tang. Next is our tahini. Make sure you give it a little stir to make sure it's all stirred up nicely. We're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of that. And of course we need to season this up with a little bit of salt and we're gonna sweeten it up with a little bit of maple syrup. We'll whisk that up a bit. Oh, and I forgot, we're gonna add a little bit of pepper as well. Give that one last whisk and this salad is ready to be served. Now it's a matter of just putting everything into our bowl. Here we go with the quinoa. And of course, feel free to add as much as you want of each ingredient. Here are the sweet potatoes. Now I like to give it a toss at this point just to kind of see how much I have of everything in the salad. I could do for a few more sweet potatoes. So here we go, I'm gonna add a few more. Now I'm gonna add a few pistachios. I like these roasted ones you get from Costco. Have you ever tried them? They are fantastic. Uh, but you can use any nuts you want or seeds. Now we're gonna add that delicious dressing and you know, you're gonna add a little bit, then toss it up. Make sure you don't have too much and make sure you don't have too little. And then we're gonna add those garbanzo beans cause I want them to stay crispy. Okay, here they come. Toss in as many as you want and give them one more toss. I hope I'm making you hungry because this salad is delicious. And wouldn't it make a great side dish for say Christmas dinner with all those colors? This has so many different flavors going on here. It is so delicious. I think the only thing you need to add is maybe some roasted chicken or grilled chicken and you have a great meal. Speaking of chicken, I know the perfect recipe that would go with this. This is my oven fried chicken that you are gonna love. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leaving me a comment. Let me know what you think, okay? And if you know anyone who might enjoy this delicious salad, please share it with them. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.